Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler, an optician here at Support Our X. We get a lot of questions around progressives, and so we decided to try and tackle them. I'm going to try and do it quickly and concisely, like FAQ style. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section below, or reach out to one of our opticians who is very friendly and would love to hear from you and help you. When it comes to the difference between progressives and trifocals, this is a fair comparison. Effectively, what you're getting more or less is the difference of a line version versus a no line version. There's a little bit of a difference. With a progressive, it is all in one. You get all working distances. That is to say, not focal length. Focal length is the distance between your eye and the lens. Working distance is between your lens and the thing that you're looking at. And so progressives, we're going to cater to distance up top, reading on the bottom, and as you scroll down the lens, everything in between. That's the big differentiator here. The main thing for progressives and the reason people will go for progressives over trifocals is because it's more desirable cosmetically. You do get that kind of seamless blending of all distances in one lens, kind of getting you back to that natural vision you had when you were younger. Because by the way, progressives are lenses designed to cater to presbyopia, which is an age-related condition that makes it you need to wear reading glasses. So progressives are nice because it gives you everything in one lens. They do take a little bit of getting used to. That's one thing I need to note because there is a channel that you have to kind of, there's a sweet spot. Let's, let's call it that. And there is soft focus on the edges, especially in the bottom corners of the outside. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. Check out our video, how to get used to progressives for a little more information there. But it is definitely the much more popular option for a good number of reasons, cosmetic being one of them. The trifocal is essentially think a line bifocal, which is pretty obvious, and then add another segment there. So you technically do get distance, intermediate, and reading, but it's separated by a stark line. So you have distance, stark line with like, a millimeter and a half of kind of fuzziness and then you have that intermediate and then a little bit of fuzziness and then you have that reading. It does mean that you have a little more, I, I mean, really what it is, you don't have to deal with that soft focus on the edges. But I would think that I could argue that it's easier to get used to, but not always. I've had a lot of people who find it easier to get used to progressives than with trifocals. But that's a big difference, those obvious very noticeable lines in the lenses with those three stark working distances. One thing also that is to be noted is that it minimizes considerably your lens feature options. There aren't that many lens materials available with trifocals anymore. There are not that many lens features. For instance, some different versions of transitions aren't available, most of them actually. I think only the most basic transitions. And so there are a lot of features that you're going to have to sacrifice if you really want to stick with a lined trifocal. I think that pretty well covers the difference between progressive and a lined trifocal. I hope I answered all your questions. Again, if I didn't, let us know in the comment section or call one of our opticians because they'd love to hear from you. I'm going to say that again. You'll hear me say that again in a moment. If you've been eyeing this cool frame on the desk, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's pretty dope looking, right? This is actually our frame, Sporter X Hux, and I snuck it in there just because I like it so much. We're proud of it here. We made it. We designed it. We are also making it available to you. You can stick around for a moment longer if you're interested in it and click an easy to click shop now button. And if you are interested in Sporter X, because why would you not be? You totally should be. Do not forget about our Sea Better Guarantee. It gives you a ton of peace of mind. It gives you 45 days with your glasses to figure out if they're perfect for you. If they're not, we want to take care of you no matter what that means in our end. We also, like I said, I would repeat myself, we have opticians who are very friendly, very knowledgeable, who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Why not use this as a resource? We're here. We love hearing from you. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting, your valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here if you are ready to shop because why not? You can check us out right here. If you're ready to check out more content, consume more content because we all are these days, you should check us out on our social media outlets because I think you'll like them. You can find us at our handles, SportRx.